this morning, a family grieving. Actress Natasha Richardson died. Natasha Richardson fell over while skiing. She initially appeared fine and even joked about the fall. But two days later, she died and she was killed by an epidural hematoma, an injury to her brain. For traumatic brain injury, which is one of the commonest type of injuries and is the, the biggest killer in young people, for example, there isn't anything at all that, for example, the paramedics could use to determine whether someone's had a serious head injury, whether they need to be taken to a specialist centre or they can be transported to hospital and be stabilised later on. In this lab at the University of Birmingham, they've created the first test that can detect the tiny traces of chemicals in the blood produced by traumatic brain injury. There's no need for a scanner. And at its heart is this chip, silicon with a coating of gold. And this is a real working prototype of the detector. Uh, and this has actually been used with the blood of real patients from the Queen Elizabeth Hospital here in Birmingham. And the eventual aim is to shrink all this to about half the size and create a blood detector that could be kept in an ambulance, or perhaps at a sports ground, or even used on the battlefield. And here are the early results. These are real blood samples taken from real patients at the scene of an accident. The detector divides them in two. Those in the right-hand side of the circle have traumatic brain injury. Those on the left do not. And that's one of the less obvious advantages of this detector. It's not just detecting brain injury, it's also detecting when a patient is fine. And at the moment, around half of the patients are being overtreated, overdiagnosed, and they're basically being taken to the hospital, undergo very expensive uh, scans such as MRI, magnetic resonance uh, imaging, which are costly, expensive, take long time, cost hundreds of pounds per patient, and eventually the doctors find out there is no need in that. The university is keen to create this as a working product, so when might we see it? With this particular idea, because there are so many applications, and in particular, there's so much uh, uh, possibility for understanding and reducing uh, brain trauma injury, um, I think there'll be no problem getting investment for this. And I would be trying very hard, we'll be trying very hard to get this to the market within about three years. Hopefully sparing other families from the shock of losing a loved one after what seemed at the time like a harmless tumble on a ski slope. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.